Thank you. All right. Here you go. Hold on, honey. Let me put that there. And Thank you so much, Mrs. Meredith. You're a lifesaver. Oh, you know, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure. I don't know what I'd do without you. This is probably going to be my only meal for today. You got to be kidding me. I believe this lady. How many times do we have to go over this? I've told you three times, you're not allowed to be here. I've given you three citations. Okay, and I have told you each time that I'm well within my rights and I'm not going anywhere. Here's your ticket. Well, thank you. This is wonderful and I'm gonna file it away with all the others. All right, well, let's go. Pack it up. What's going on over there? This is your final warning. Wait a second, what's going on over here? Stay out of it, Bomber. I'll arrest you too. Here you go, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right, hello, young man. Here you go. Spoon's right there. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here you go, love. Hold that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Nice and hot. There you go. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you too. You're welcome. Hello, ma'am. Hey, Trey. It's good to see you again. Hold on to this. Let me get you some of the broth on top. Thank you. All right. Here you go. Hold on, honey. Let me put that there and hold on to that spoon and you're good to go. Thank you so much, Mrs. Meredith. You're a lifesaver. Oh, you know, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure. I don't know what I'd do without you. This is probably going to be my only meal for today. I'm sorry, Trey. Have you had any luck finding work? Um, yes. Thankfully, I found some work at a construction site nearby, but it's only temporary, though. All right. Well, congratulations. That's a step in the right direction. Thank you, Mrs. Meredith. Your support means the world to me. we got to do what we can mm -hmm. with what we have, with where we are. Right? Am I right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's the fourth week in a row. I cannot believe this lady. You do way more than most. You're like an angel. Oh, now hush, you're gonna, you're gonna make me cry. All right, now we gotta move this line along. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit later. Okay. Good to see you, Trey. Thank you, Ms. Meredith. Yes, ma'am. The nerve. <sighs> Unbelievable. Hello again, officer, and good morning. Wish I could say the same. How may I help you today? How many times do we have to go over this? I've told you three times, you're not allowed to be here. I've given you three citations. Okay, and I have told you each time that I'm well within my rights and I'm not going anywhere. Do you have a permit to be here today? No, I do not. For the last time, officer, I do not need a permit. I'm on public property. And I'm not selling anything here. Fine, have it your way. You know, officer, don't you have anything better to do with your time? You know, there are bad people out there committing real crimes, but here you are again, harassing me when all I'm trying to do is help people who are desperately in need. You're running a food service event without proper documentation from the owner. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. This is wonderful, and I'm going to file it away with all the others. All right, well, let's go. Pack it up. I'm not going to go anywhere yet. I still have food to serve. Not my problem. You're done here for the day, lady. Let's go. Pack it up.
going on over there? Okay, officer, you've had your moment, okay? I've received your citation. I've told you I'm gonna pay the stupid fine. Now just let me finish up, you, you? got two minutes to get everything packed up. You hear me? Two minutes. Dos minutos. I'm not leaving. This is your final warning. Okay. I am within my rights and I am not going anywhere. Hey, hey, wait a second. What's going on over here? Stay out of it, bomber. I'll arrest you too. Whoa, whoa, just chill out, man. This lady hasn't even done anything wrong. I said stay out of it. Trey, it's gonna be okay. I got this. It's gonna be fine. Good morning, Officer Jacobs. What is going on here? Captain, how you doing? I have everything under control. This lady is illegally running a food service event. She doesn't have a permit or permission from the property owner to be here. Mm, go on. Well, I've given her several warnings. I've issued her several citations, and yet she shows up every week feeding these people. I was just about to arrest her for disturbing the peace and failure to comply to a lawful order. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Captain. Did Officer Jacobs here describe the events accurately? Well, yes, he did, except he left out one really important part, which I have told him over and over again, is that I'm within my rights here. I'm on public property, and I do not have to have a permit. Ma'am, if I say you need a permit, you need a permit. Okay, that's not how the law works, okay, Officer? Captain. Yeah, she's right. Captain? Look, this is a public library, public space. She doesn't need a permit to operate. Well, there has to be something we can do. She's clearly a nuisance. She's here every week handing out food. You consider her charity a nuisance? Yeah, Captain, I do. There's enough homeless people in this town as it is. Now they're everywhere because of her. It's like feeding stray cats. For God's sake, man, listen to yourself. This cold-blooded reptilian. I mean, have you no compassion? I mean, these are people. People just like you and me. Not like me. And who is this young man, this, this gentleman? Hello, officer. My name is Trey Johnson, and I can assure you that this lady has done nothing wrong. Okay, Trey, how about you tell me what's going on here today? Well, I came by to grab a meal for Miss Meredith like I do every Sunday. And then as I was leaving, I saw this officer trying to arrest her. So I tried to come into her defense. This lady, she's a really nice lady. She's a really good person, one of the best that I know. I thought I told you to stay out of it. Officer. You know, we got plenty of room for people like you downtown. Hey, hey, hey. Ma'am, do you happen to have any ID? Certainly. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Um, I'm just curious, how many citations have you written her? Including today? Four. $500 each. Wow, that there's a pretty hefty sum. Yep, yep, yep it is. But I told him I would pay the stupid fines. I know what I'm doing here is right. She is doing the right thing. She's a pillar to our community. Oh, would you shut up? Sir, can I detain her now? Uh, no, 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 we're not doing any of that. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. You are gonna revoke all of those citations, you understand? Excuse, Excuse me, Captain? Captain? revoke the citations, and I want you to give her an apology. Apologize? You gotta be joking. Does it look like I'm kidding you? Do you know who this woman is? Some bleeding heart hippie who's causing problems? This is Meredith Mooney. She owns the largest nonprofit in the state. Plus, she's donated more of her own money last year to the city, more money than you'll ever see in your lifetime. Well, good for her. <sighs> Apologize. Sorry, lady. Mm. That didn't sound sincere to me. No, no it did not. Try again. <sighs> I'm sorry. When I get back to the station, I'll take care of the tickets for you, okay? Well, thank you, officer. That was well, a little better. I accept your apology. Miss Mooney, let me ask you a question. Do you need any help with your food drive here? Captain, you know I always need a little extra help around here. Well, you see, the Mango Park Police Department, we're always willing to help. Every Sunday for the next month, you're going to report to Miss Moody here, and you're going to help her with whatever she needs. Am I making myself clear? Am I making myself clear? Crystal. Good. 
Now get back to the station and take care of those citations. All right, I'm on it. Captain, I want to thank you for all that you've done today. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, you're welcome, ma'am. And Trey, thank you, man, stepping up in the line of fire just to defend me. Thank you. You're very welcome, Mrs. Meredith. I mean, you would have done the same for me. I mean, like I said, you're a pillar to our community, so it's only right. Now, hush, I'm gonna get all embarrassed again. I... Yes, ma'am, you are definitely somebody special. I don't tell too many people about this, but when I was about 10 years old, my father left me and my mother and my sister. We had to live out of a car for a few years, and because of the kindness and generosity of people like you, we're able to make it through. Well, I, I, I've been blessed in my life, Captain. Trey, I, I, I just want to make sure I do the right thing to give back to my community, you know? And I just feel like if we are working to create light for others, well, we naturally light our own way. Am I right? Yes, you are. <laughs> all right. Here you go. Hey, let me help you clean some of this stuff up, huh? Yeah, all right. Appreciate the help. Let's do it. 